Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. I did a painting last night which had lots of blues and lots of turquoise colours in it um, and it involved straight pours and I poured a lot of the paint off the canvas. So when I was tidying up I had loads of paint um, on my my workbench here on which I, I'm covering cling film or lots and lots of paint on the cling film so what I decided to do was actually scrape it off with my spatula um, and save it and see what colour came out um, this is the gorgeous colour that I managed to make from all the leftover paint that I poured off my canvas onto my um, onto the cling film um, it filled up to about here, this is a yoghurt pot, it filled up to about here, so there was so much paint left over and I'm just so happy with the colour, it's a really interesting colour. Um, I've added um, some Fluorotrol to it because it didn't have any Fluorotrol, it was um, a pouring medium made up of PVA glue and water and then I've added a bit more water to make it into a Dutch pour consistency. Um, it's just a really unusual colour, it's got a little bit of metallic in, so actually it's got a really slight shimmer to the paint as well. So I'm going to do a triptych tonight. I've got three little rectangular canvases. Um, I'm going to do a Dutch pour triptych. The colours I've chosen, um, um, Payne's Grey, all, these are all Pebio Studio Acrylics colours, um, Payne's Grey, a hint of violet blue, um, blue green iridescent, silver iridescent, and then the Pebio Pearl White, which is iridescent as well. Um, so I think they will look fab. I'm also going to add a little bit of blue. Now, I don't know if you've seen this make. Um, Royal and Langnickel is called. Now, this particular colour is Thalo Cyanine Blue. Um, and it's just the most beautiful colour. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of that as well. So the painting will be sort of silvery turquoisey colour with a hint of blue and hint of pink um so i'm just really excited to use this concoction i've made so um let's get started so the cam the canvases i'm using um are crawford and black canvases i'm using eight by 20 inch canvases um i have painted the edges of the canvas already um in a turquoisey colour the nearest colour i had to match the, the base layer I'm going to use, um, just so that when I pour the paint over, it, it will cover the edges. Um, there won't be a lot of white showing through. So I'm just going to cover the base of the canvases with this, this colour. I've got quite a lot of paint here, more than I'm, more than I'm gonna need for these size canvases. But that's okay, I will save the rest of it for another um, piece. I put push, push pins in the back of these canvases so that they're raised up off the off the worktop here, um, and I have made sure they're all level. I've used the spirit level and placed it on each canvas and on each on each side to make sure they're all level. So I'm just going to blow out the, the base colour. And I'm just going to check that the edges are covered. Right, so for the design, I'm going to do... I think I would do my normal S shape across the three canvases. I'll put all the paints down, then I'm going to separate the, board, uh, the panels a little bit um, and then blow it out from there. So I'm going to start with the dark um, Payne's Grey colour. I'm going to do the S shape, but I think I'm not going to do it from corner to corner. I'm going to come up slightly and end down slightly. Otherwise, I'm going to have this panel, this canvas with loads of negative space there, loads there. I think I'm going to do the S, I'm going to stick to that, but just not quite as curvy. So that was the Payne's Grey. 
Now the pearl white. And I go for just a hint of pink. Actually, I might go for a hint more because I quite like that. I wasn't sure if it would be too too much. So I'm going to just add a little bit more because it actually does look really nice against the base colour. Um, silver. Now my lovely dark blue colour. Be a turquoise. Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to not use the turquoise. Now I've got this base colour out, it looks so much more duck egg blue like. It just doesn't. I don't think the turk. I don't think the iridescent turquoise is is going to work. I'm going to leave it out. So what does that leave me with? So I think I'm going to just put, I just want a bit more paint in the design, so I'm just going to put another very thin layer of each of the colours down just to get a bit more paint. I'm going to go with more of the pink because I actually think the pink looks really good against this colour. So it's ending up being like a pink and blue design on a duck egg blue base. I think I'm gonna leave it that at that. I'm not gonna put another line of that line of that blue in because I put a lot of that on. So I'm gonna flood the colour. If you can hear that noise but there is a massive dragonfly in my kitchen it's absolutely huge I've never seen such a big dragonfly just need to keep it away from my painting yeah it's over the lights now so if, if you can see the lights flashing no oh, I think it must have gone good Right, let's just blow this colour over. Right, so to blow the design out, let's separate the canvases slightly. I'm going to start with the central one and just see what happens. I don't really have a plan. I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. So my initial thoughts um, are that I'm not happy at all, but the longer I'm leaving it, the more of the colour is coming through. 
to start with, it looked incredibly pale, like I, there wasn't much colour at all. Now, I don't know what's happened here. I've just totally lost my paint, lost the colour. I'm just wondering if it's just all underneath there. The same here. I can see some colour under there, but it's just it hasn't blown out like I was hoping at all. I'm not giving up yet, though, because what I can see, I really like the colours I really like. Right, I'm just going to have a play around and try and find the colour underneath. So what I've decided to do is just to add some more colour. It's just, it's too pale, it's too sparse for me at the moment, but the bits of design that I have got, I absolutely love. There are some incredible cells here. The whole um, image, the whole design has got this wonderful shimmer to it, which is the silver and the pearlescent white coming through. Um, I really think it's beautiful, but there's just not enough of the design. Um, I don't want to really interfere with this band, so what I'm gonna do is do another line coming up here and then another line coming up here. It might ruin it, it might mess it up, but I, I'm just not happy with it as it is at the moment. So I'm gonna have a go. So I'm gonna try and do the same colors again, um, but in, yeah, in a different position. Right, just give that a minute just to settle again, see what happens, see what emerges from this. It's definitely not going as I was hoping, but I often find if things don't go as I plan, I end up with different, well, interesting results, which I'm quite end up being quite happy with. It's finished. I have spent ages and ages and ages fiddling around with this. It's taken me a really long time. I just wasn't happy after blowing it out with a hairdryer, so I've added bits. Um, I've blown around a lot on it um, but I think I'm happy <laughs> happy with it so I'm going to take you in for a close-up um, there are some amazing effects in this um, I will show you so there are just some beautiful beautiful cells and there's just this overall shimmer to the whole piece so the base obviously has the, a, a very faint shimmer in it the paints I've added I've got shimmer in that is absolutely gorgeous. Totally love that bit. So this is the middle panel. So that's the bit at the top there is the bit that I added extra. And look at these cells just here. Aren't they gorgeous? just amazing how the paint interacts and just creates these amazing amazing effects and then at the bottom of the middle one there's also another little uh, cluster of cells which I think is just beautiful I'm really happy with these colors I think they work really well together yeah, and over there I quite like that little section just really interesting I just hope when it's dry you'll just get the real shimmer and that will really add to the whole piece great so um, I will be back and show you um, when it's dry so this one is dry um, it's extremely interesting this painting the most obvious thing about the painting is the shimmer all that white white pearlescent paint there's a massive patch of it at the top and it's just throughout. It's a pearlescent, shimmery colour. The can you see? Try and get the lighting right. The white bit there and the pink bit there—they're all iridescent. 
It's got some gorgeous cells there. And then the colours just fade, just ripple away, and then they just come back again. There you can see the um, in the blue there looks iridescent. And I've just, you've just got these lovely streaks of colour throughout. I'm very happy with the base colour. Um, as I said at the beginning, that base colour was just a colour mixed with all, all my leftover paints after I did a turquoise and blue painting. Um, I think it's a lovely colour. I'd love to be able to mix it again, but um, I think I'd be lucky to get the same colour again. Now this is my favourite section. So I think that's gorgeous. So as a triptych, so as a three panelled piece, um, I think this would look fab on a white wall, on a really pale wall. Um, really happy with the colour, with the, the design of this. It's very different, very unusual, um, quite simple in some ways, um, but the the key element, I think, is the, the shimmer and the shine, which you can really see well. The shimmer's all throughout the whole painting, but you can just see it with the lighting in here better at the top there. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please leave any comments for me. Um, I'd love some constructive criticism if you've got anything you'd like to say or ask um, or anything that you think I can do to improve my videos or my paintings. That would be amazing. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to get all um, notifications for all new videos. Great. Have a nice evening. Bye.